In today's video, I will show two easy ways to install RPM without dependencies in RHEL and Ubuntu. So stay with me and watch the full video if you want to install RPM packages like a pro. On Linux systems like Red Hat, the .rpm extension is used to install software. Meanwhile, dependencies indicate the packages needed for a program to function. While regular users usually install packages with dependencies, developers might want to install just the .rpm file to check its functions. Let's learn two ways to install RPM packages without dependencies, one in Red Hat and another one is in Debian-based distros. RPM is a low-level tool for direct package installation for Red Hat-based distros like CentOS, Fedora, and RHEL. Also, it can ignore dependencies. So for this example, I will install a VLC player.rpm file without dependencies using RPM. Before that, at first you have to download and extract the RPM file of VLC player from the official website. I have already downloaded and extracted the file. For the download link, check out the description. Now, in the RHEL terminal, type cd downloads to navigate to the downloads folder type ls to see the list of contents and here you can see the downloaded zipped file and the rpm files now to install vlc type the command sudo rpm dash i and the file name hit enter authenticate yourself through your password and in the terminal the output shows that an error occurred in the installation of vlc package due to failed dependencies but to ignore the dependencies and install only a specific package without installing any dependency package run the command sudo rpm dash i dash dash no dips that means no dependencies then the file name vlc now hit enter and this command install the downloaded rpm file of vlc player without installing any dependency now, to check whether the installation was successful or not, run the command sudo rpm qa vertical bar grep vlc. Hit enter, and here you can see the command finds the .rpm file of vlc in the list of installed files. That means the package installation is successful. You can also install RPM packages on Debian-based systems like Ubuntu by converting them to Debian files and using package managers like apt and dpkg. For this example, I will install the RPM file of TeamViewer without dependencies on Ubuntu. So, again I have to download and extract the RPM file of TeamViewer from the official website and I have already done this. Now open the Ubuntu terminal and navigate to the downloads folder with the command cd downloads. Now type ls to see the list of contents and you can see the RPM file of TeamViewer is present here. Now I will convert the RPM file to Debian file. For this, I will use the alien. Now type the command sudo alien dash d and the file name TeamViewer. This command will create a Debian file from the RPM file. Hit enter. Now to check the conversion, type ls. And in the list, you can see a Debian file of TeamViewer is present. Now I will install the Debian file. So type sudo dpkg dash i and the file name TeamViewer, hit enter. Now here the output shows that an error occurred in installing TeamViewer because it depends on libcbin which is not installed. But you can ignore the installation of dependencies by mentioning their names. For that, type the command sudo dpkg dash i dash dash ignore dash depends equal and the dependencies name. I am copying the name Now here is a note for you. If you find error in more than one dependencies, then you have to write them all here by giving a space. And after the dependencies name, type dash dash force dash depends and the file name. I am copying the file name. Now hit enter and the viewer is installed in Ubuntu. To verify, type apt list dash dash installed vertical bar grep team viewer hit enter and in the terminal you can see the team viewer package installation is successful that was all for today you must be cautious when installing packages without their dependencies as it can lead to unexpected issues like unstable system i recommend you to use isolated environments like virtual machines or containers to test or troubleshoot software in a specific scenario for more details go through the article and comments in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Linux content.